Hello, it's October 31st, and I was supposed to do this video yesterday, but I've been going through quite a bit of demonic attack, and this time of the year, it's really amped up. So anyways, this title of this is Unity of the Church. I was supposed to preach this um, probably about a, I don't know, a month ago, but I don't know, I just... Just didn't really preach it for some reason. I don't really know what was going on with me. So, anyways, we'll get started with a prayer. Dear God in heaven, bless your people hearing this message. And we ask guidance and that I wouldn't speak out a turn and only your words that come out of my mouth, God. In your name, amen. So there has been, for the last few years, and probably more than that, last few years, that I've seen a lot of division in the church between denominations. And one denomination tries to say they're right, the other one tries to say they're right. Some of them, like the Baptist that I used to go to, didn't like miracles. Then you go to the Pentecostals, they're all about the gifts of the Spirit. They get a little bit wacko sometimes with the falling on the floor and just being kind of super weird. I'm not saying that isn't of God. I'm just saying there is a lot of drama, dramatization of it. And we need to just follow what they said in Acts too, basically. What the, Paul and all of them were trying to get us to do was be united and not say there weren't gifts of the Holy Spirit, but also stop dividing denominations because you don't like this teaching or this preaching unless somebody is claiming some other power than god <coughs> or denying the deity of christ we shouldn't be just splitting off and starting more denominations we need to be united the division of the american church has really taken its toll on the congregation at large causing huge splits between denominations. Some of this may be acceptable if the doctrine on which they split is unbiblical. But unfortunately, what has tended to come of these divisions and splits is a dividing on things of little importance and more based on preachers' personal beliefs and their egos. And thus, said beliefs become their new doctrine. For example... Our Christian, modern Christian church should should be looking like something that's in Acts and in the New Testament, which clearly shows us what it is to be a united church and what is taught as acceptable doctrine to teach and base our churches off. Instead of wasting precious time arguing about signs and gifts, and if they are for today, and who is qualified to carry out such things, we should be focused on sharing the gift of Christ and of eternal life through his sacrifice for all of us that would repent and call upon the name of Jesus. The pride and ego needs to be set aside, especially in these times. We're getting close to the end, guys. All the Things that are happening in Israel, the prophecies are coming true, and the sign is the Antichrist is going to be here, and Jesus is going to show up is getting very close. We may even see it in our lifetime. The arguing and fighting is causing us to lose sight of our intended purpose in the church. It's just it's destroying it. Not unlike how the devil tried to cause Jesus to look away from his mission when the devil tempted him in the desert. Our one and only mission as a church is to share and prepare a lost and dying world for the return of Jesus Christ our Lord. In Psalms 133.1, it talks about unity. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. In John 17.21-22, that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. 
and the glory which thou gavest me I have given them that they may be one, even as we are one. This is what Jesus wanted for the church, that we be united in one accord as God and Jesus are one, to be united in faith and in the most holy doctrine of our beautiful Lord Jesus. Ephesians 4, 4 through 6, There is one body and one spirit, even as... Ye are called in one hope of all your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, and Father of all, who is above all, and through all, and in you all. Even the Apostle Paul was preaching this in Ephesians for a united and not a divided church. So let's stop dividing and start uniting to the church body of Christ. And that's basically the message. We need to stop dividing our churches, unite them under the message of Jesus Christ our Lord, and stop just being petty about things. We're not helping people reach Christ, and the love of God needs to be flowing out of all the churches. And if that means that we have to go back and just start doing house churches again, and preaching love, and preaching Jesus, and repentance, and stop worrying about what denomination, if you're a Baptist, if you're a Pentecostal, if you're a Lutheran, if you're a Methodist, it doesn't really matter. Preach Jesus. Follow Jesus. Believe in the signs and the gifts, and preach sound doctrine, and you'll never go astray. God, thank you that you let me speak this message today. I hope it reaches and touches some hearts, and I ask that you would unite the churches, God, and stop this division, because Satan is the father of lies and deception and division, and you would like us to be united and peaceable and living together as brethren like they did in the New Testament when it first started. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. If anybody needs prayer, hit me up, drop a message, and I'll get you into the prayer group. Love you guys. Have a blessed day.